So it's been a couple of weeks since we've been uh, letting this cider ferment in here and Ben, of course, we're, we're reunited for the most important part, which is getting it in the bottles. It's probably gonna take a little bit of time. There's a couple of steps to go through, but uh, we're moving forward with the cider operation. So what's the, what's the first thing we do? Uh, well, we're gonna start inside because I don't wanna move the actual buckets um, that uh, we put all of the juice into because um, that'll stir up all of the sediment and yeast. I actually was able to press a whole other bucket. Um, so I think we have close to 40 liters. We're gonna take it out of uh, those primary fermentation buckets. We're gonna put it in another big pot that we've got um, leaving all of the sediment behind and then we'll head outside um, to actually do the bottling at the kitchen. Uh, so we're gonna start with this bucket. Um, you can see the bubblers aren't really going anymore. They stopped maybe a day or two ago. Oh, it's chunky. It is chunky. Whoops, okay then, I think. This one stopped a couple of days earlier, but I think it was the first one. Oh, that one is way more yeasty up there. Yeah, it is, eh? It also smells pretty good, but I don't know. Is this, I, so I have to be honest, I haven't done any research into this at all. <laughs> is this, is, does it look like it's supposed to look here? I think so. Yeah, it's going a little quicker now. <laughs> That's way better. There we go. Gravity, who knew? It's so much better. <laughs> Don't watch. Oh, yeah. So we're feeling this to get a gravity reading, which is gonna tell us how alcoholic it is. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Uh. Basically, oh, it's it floating, it is floating. Which is exactly what we wanted it to be. That red? 1.0? Yeah. Which means how? Uh, it means that this one would work out to probably about five and a half percent. Am I gonna die? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, we'll see. Honestly, it tastes like cider. It's actually quite nice. It's a little, there's a little carbonation to it. It smells like cider. It's very apple-y still. Yeah, not bad. So like, we'll go through... Oh, shit! <laughs> Was <laughs> that still rolling? Yeah, I think so. So the plan is the uh, the two pails look fairly different, so we're gonna write bottle one of them and bottle the other, so we don't cross contaminate just in case. So we're done. The bucket number one. We're just leaving a little bit of the like sedimenty stuff right at the bottom that we're yeah. not gonna strain out. Like I said, the so the two buckets look slightly different. So essentially what we're gonna do, is we're gonna make it easier on ourselves. And instead of uh, siphoning out of that uh, pot into the bottles for the first batch, we're just gonna essentially take this first batch, put it back in that bottle. And then we're gonna take the second batch, put it in the pot, sanitizing everything in between, uh, and then put it back in, uh, in a pail as well. It might smell better. Can you hold that guy in there? Oh, this one's looking good, to be honest. Yeah, this one looks better than the other one. Okay, hold on, let me get a grasp of this. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's way more clear. Super clear. I sanitized this previously. Although it doesn't matter, because... Oh! I think this is gonna be boozier. Oh, no! Oh, we're settling off. They're roughly the same area. If that's hovering just above the line, is that less? Uh, like Wait, it's lower than 1.0? Yeah. I think that means a more complete fermentation. Okay. So it used up a little bit more of the sugars. Um, and I think this was the one that I actually put even a little bit more sugar into, so it's probably sitting at more like six and a half to seven percent. So, uh... If anyone wants to party, okay, so we're also gonna taste test this one. How's that one? Tastes more like cider, I would say. Better. Hold this. Like more cidery, like more the ciders that I've had before. It's definitely better. There's like a more complex flavor. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a lot clearer. Definitely less like chunky bits in it as well. <laughs> Winnie, do you want to test Winnie? Sterilized everything, including the tops that are going to be shoved into the bottles and the siphon. Next step is basically that first batch that we siphoned off into this pot to put it back in the pail that we've now cleaned out. The second batch is in this pail. And <laughs> that's right, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we'll be ready to basically put it into bottles. Uh, 15 liters in that one. We have just over 30 liters total um, to bottle in a second. And we're gonna be putting them in essentially wine bottles that Ben picked up. So there's 750 mils each bottle, which is gonna make Ben did the math already, thank you. 20 bottles per batch, 40 bottles total, which is a heck of a lot of cider off of one apple tree. How long does it actually take to sit in the bottles? Uh, we'll put it in the bottles, put it downstairs in the basement in the dark, and it'll, we'll try one in probably two weeks. Um, the estimates online were probably more like a month or so uh, before it's actually good. <laughs> And you said that the, the kind of the, the longer it sits, it's not gonna change any alcohol percentage or anything like that, but it's probably gonna change the taste a little bit. Yeah, I've heard people um, let it rest for sometimes up to a year. Ooh. So the, uh, the 2021 vintage <laughs> will be enjoying uh, perhaps around Christmas time. Uh, or Christmas time next year. And because it's a nice, crisp fall morning, we're also gonna take the operation now outside so we can enjoy a little fall atmosphere as we're making our little cider operation and have quite a bit more space to do it uh, at the outdoor kitchen. Okay, so we're out at the outdoor kitchen. It's a nice, crisp fall. Coming into afternoon now, actually. We're basically all set up. We have our bottles behind me here. So Ben, what are the, run, run me through the steps here because I, I don't know what's going on. We're gonna do a couple of different things. Um, starting to heat up some water right here because uh, we have to mix in some sugar uh, that will kind of melt in the water, pour it into this guy, um, mix it up briefly, uh, and that'll give the residual yeast that's still in here just a little bit of extra food um, so that when we pour it into the bottles, um, it'll be able to create a little bit more carbon dioxide. There won't be an airlock on the top, so instead of uh, bubbling out the top, it'll go into the liquid. Um, and create a little fizziness once we actually pop it. Uh, but I think the first thing to do is uh, measure out our sugar. So I think we're gonna do 150 grams uh, of sugar. Two bottle. Should also mention if you want to do this yourself, there are like a ton of places that you can go to actually get set up with all the gear. Ben picked up all of this from a place in Guelph. Other than an apple tree, it's fairly easy to get your hands on this stuff. So make your own cider again. 
have to give a disclaimer. We're not professionals with this. Uh, we don't know if this is going to work out and don't know if it's potentially going to kill us what we're going to put in this bottle. So do it at your own risk, please. So I added a, a new piece to this one. Um, so we have this bottle, bottle filler at the bottom uh, of our tube that we weren't using before. It's got a little seal there with this little stick. So we'll use the siphon as we did previously. Um, but this time, uh, we're going to stick this stick all the way to the bottom, which will open this valve, uh, fill the bottle, and then when we pull it out, it'll stop and hopefully cause a little bit less mess. But before we do that, um, we do need to sanitize each of these bottles. If we take the bottle, it goes right over top, um, and then a few squirts of the sanitizer, let it drain out for a second, uh, and then we'll fill it right from there. Hey, Brooke. People love dog pants on it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now that we've got all the bottles sanitized is we actually need to fill them. So we've got our siphon with the bottle filler attached. We've got our big bucket um, with the sugar newly added now. And we have a bucket or a pot here of sanitizer um, with all of the uh, plastic corks and then the uh, metal baskets to screw on top of them. And, okay, and then twist it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you gotta touch the bottom oh. to fill it. Oh shit, okay. Whoa, that's cool. And we fill it up to the very top, uh, which will leave enough headroom for when we pull this out. What? Up to you, like here? So when we pull this plastic piece out, oh. it'll go down. It's a good looking bottle. Mm -hmm. You can still see it, kind of, well, it's not in the middle, but you can still see it. So if I let go... Right there. Maybe a little bit left. Yeah, there you go. Now just yank it all the way up. And then we should put this. Maybe just hold that. Yeah, I'll see. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is there too much liquid in there? No, I just can't. I got one in, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I need to Google that part. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Tones my goes. Oh, I you got know. it. Ooh, it's it's twist. We just did the first one. Nice. Is that it? Yep, that's it. That's hey! It's going to be 40 ready. bottles. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> There's gotta be an easier way. <laughs> yeah, there's it's supposed to be a uh, hand press. Shit, we even have one for oh, my grandpa. Oh, really? Because uh. this is fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, it will be super hard. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a good thing. Like, it's a tight steel in that case. <sighs> well, it, it could blow the cork off if there's that much pressure. Well, no. You think? <sighs> if it ferments a small amount in the bottle... Yeah, it's supposed to. ...then you could blow the cork if it ferments enough. If it's too much, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I got this little guy. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> so we're almost wrapped up with uh, the first batch of all the bottles. Also, Tony has joined us again for the bottling what experience. Up? He was eating the fritter in the last video. Uh, Just so to samosa in this video. <laughs> always munching, having always a snack. Munch, always munching. You've got to stay well fed when you're doing, uh, you know, some kind of laborious activity like holding a uh, siphon into a bottle. It's pretty <laughs> tough stuff. Yeah, so the next step is basically to do the exact same thing, but for the other batch. And Brooklyn really wants her ball. Mister, if I had a rubber hose, I'd shoot you. Ball. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's sealed nicely. This one's real perfect. Different, eh? 
the color is way different. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but this one's quite a bit darker. You can see that from your eye through the bottle for sure. How many, we ended up, what'd you say? We ended up with 19 bottles, 19 bottles of the, the first batch or the lighter batch, 19, which is pretty good. Plus, yeah. or is that including that? That was not including that. So 19 plus a little extra that I guess we're just gonna try to enjoy. So if you're seeing this video right now, eh, we didn't die. I got, I got behind on putting the caps in. So I tried like uh, Tony Tony had to use the hammer, which, where did it go? Didn't oh, you're work. holding it, it shattered the <laughs> shattered the top. But anyway, Tony's gonna drink it. Now we it. can just try it anyway. How, how's the taste test on this? Let's find out. It's good. Any shards of glass in there? Any notes no, of uh, no glass? No, no notes of glass? <laughs> That's actually really nice. I also don't recommend uh, drinking out of a bottle that's just been shattered, but you know, here uh, uh, we do what we do. The person who fucked it should be made to chug it. <laughs> chug it? <laughs> you, you fucked it, you, you fucked chug it. Chug it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ben's filling up the last few bottles here. Uh, so we're pretty much ready to just kind of let this the, these bad boys sit. We have the first batch and a bunch of the second batch here all back in their uh, cases. Those are just kind of sit in the basement for a little while uh, until we're ready to drink them. So after Ben said it 16 times that there's a rubber mallet uh, in the garage, we finally switched over. So Tony's actually whipping through these, uh, these caps on the bottles now. We're getting super close to the end. Probably on the last bottle here. Yeah, it's not bad. I think it's definitely apple -y. Oh yeah. I think it's gonna chill out um, a little bit. It'll definitely mellow. I think it'll taste less green. Week. Yeah, for sure. But like, not very sweet. Um, there's definitely alcohol in it. I think overall it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think it's gonna mellow out for sure. All right, now to compare and contrast. This is the, the funkier batch. It was less clear. Oh, it looks okay there. This one I actually like better. It's definitely funkier though. I would actually agree. It's a little funkier, but it has more depth uh, to yeah. the flavor than uh, than that one does. So we've packaged everything up, all the bottling is done. We ended up with uh, 20 bottles of one of the batches, 19 bottles of the other. So it's a heck of a lot of cider. There's 750 mil bottles. Now the only step is to kind of put them inside in the basement, let them chill out for how long? Uh, probably two weeks to a month before two, we'll try them. Two weeks to a month before we try them. Um, but for now, yeah, Tony was just marking down so we have a separation and, and know which batch is which. Not that it'll make a huge difference because we'll probably be enjoying, uh, there's 750 mil bottles, so it's not like everyone's gonna have their own. We'll probably just enjoy one at a time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the situation. I uh, hope you enjoyed the process so far. We'll put up another video of trying the cider for sure. Stick around for that. Like, subscribe, etc. So on and so forth. Exactly. <laughs> Murky. <laughs> <laughs>